Hi, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this article, Nancy Pelosi tape surfaces. Impeachment is over. No one has ever accused House Speaker Nancy Pelosi of being fair, reasonable, or open-minded. She's nothing more than a far-left activist in lockstep with her party's mission of impeaching President Donald Trump at all costs simply because they dislike him and can't defeat him in the 2020 election. But the California Democrat found herself in big trouble this week when a tape resurfaced showing that she lied before Congress about impeaching the president. Speaking from the floor of the U.S. House, Pelosi lied in both form and substance when she declared that nobody comes to Congress to impeach a president. Nobody, I doubt anybody in this place or anybody that you know, comes to Congress to take the oath of office, comes to Congress to impeach the President of the United States unless his actions are jeopardizing, are honoring our oath of office, she said. That's a bold-faced lie. Back in November 2018, Rashida Tlaib won her election and became a congresswoman from Michigan. During her election victory speech, she explicitly mentioned Trump by name and vulgarly declared, we're going to go in there and impeach the motherfucker. There's one example of Pelosi lying about nobody comes to Congress to impeach a president. As for Pelosi, who has emerged as the last defense of the swamp, let's take a stroll down memory lane to a time before the 116th Congress was sworn in just over a year ago. Pelosi and House Intelligence Committee Adam Schiff changed the House rules of impeachment on August the 12th, 2019, which is the same day that Democrats claimed to have received the complaint from the so-called whistleblower. On August 12th, 2019, the House impeachment process memo received an update. This is also the same day that Democrats claim they got the whistleblower complaint. The CIA operative whistleblower sent a letter to Schiff and Senate Intelligence Committee Chairman Richard Burr on August the 12th. Pelosi modified the House rules for impeachment for the 116th Congress on that same day. It's unclear what all was changed from the original version of the document, but there are some notable sections that are obvious. Throughout the entire impeachment memo, it states that the Judiciary Committee is responsible for holding the investigation, hearings, as well as markups of articles of impeachment against a sitting president. In an overview section, the document now states that impeachment process may begin if Congress receives information from varying sources, but there is no specific motion of who that outside source is. On the sixth page, the footnotes state that congressional actions allows the president's counsel to answer impeachment. Former presidents Richard Nixon and Bill Clinton had the chance to respond to the inquiry and challenge evidence, but now the new rules don't appear to give President Trump that same option. Wonder why? Pelosi and Schiff clearly did not abide by their own memo during the sham impeachment inquiry in the Democratic-controlled House. It seems as if they altered the documents after they received the complaint from the whistleblower in order to fit their own narrative. Rather than follow the facts and evidence, it seems like Democrats changed the rules so they could begin the impeachment inquiry in the House.